the few seconds we should hear the announcement that the fine braking phase of operation has been completed and uh, we expect at the end of this the vehicle to reach in an altitude of almost 400 meters and uh, the velocity right now if you look at the plot we have the Vikram lander has a horizontal velocity of uh, nearly 48 meters and vertical velocity of 60 meter per second जी हाँ करीब करीब 12 मिनट 30 सेकंड का समय व्यतीत हो चुका है हम लोग काफी नजदीक चंद्रमा की सतह पर और फायर फाइन ब्रेकिंग जो एंड वो है फेज है वो लगभग खत्म होने की स्थिति में Just waiting for the confirmation for the. Open your Angel One account in three quick and easy steps. Enter your mobile number and verify using OTP. Enter your registered. में सारे संसूचक जो हैं वो लगातार अपनी गतिविधियां प्रदान कर रहे हैं. After the completion of the fine breaking end, we will have the vertical descent operations where the. The spacecraft will be moved from nearly 400 to 700 kilometers down to the lunar surface. The screens are showing the countdown. Also the path that lander Vikram will take as we are moments away to see that touchdown happening. Chandrayaan-2 is an Indian lunar mission that aims to improve our understanding of our closest neighbor, the moon. Discoveries that perhaps will contribute to national development and also serve humanity as a whole. These young students have participated in the space quiz and they are here to witness the historic event. At ISRO, as the boundaries of India's capabilities in space continue to expand, the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi, encourages exploration of space potential and also application of space technologies to help ease of living. Prime Minister, in his Man Ki Baat, address had invited students to participate in space quiz his appeal had got an overwhelming response and today apart from the scientists and other stakeholders we have students not only of india but also of bhutan to witness the soft landing of chandrayaan 2 on the south polar region of the moon so what makes Chandrayaan-2 special? This is the first space mission to conduct a soft landing on the moon's south polar region. The scientists here at ISTRAC are glued to their systems, analyzing all kinds of complex data. India is at the brink of creating history. Are you ready to witness history tonight? A very good morning and welcome from the Mission Operation Complex of Telemetry Tracking and Command Network, an unit of Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, located in Bangalore in the southern part of India. My name is Radha Krishnan. And I have with me my colleague, Dr. Alok, who will be bringing to you the live coverage of the Chandrayaan-2 mission in English and Hindi. Today, we are all awaiting anxiously to witness the final phase of critical and most technologically challenging mission operations of Chandrayaan-2, wherein Indian lunar lander named Vikram will be making the soft landing on the surface of the moon. We are approximately 28 minutes away from this important event. For the viewers, just a quick update on the Chandrayaan-2 mission. 
Chandrayaan-2 spacecraft is a composite unit consisting of three independent modules, named an orbiter, a lander called Vikram, and a rover named Prakyan, which is housed inside the lander unit. At the time of launch, all these three modules are held together as a single spacecraft called Chandrayaan-2, and the total mass of Chandrayaan-2 at launch was 3,850 kilograms. As you are all aware, launch of Chandrayaan-2 spacecraft took place on 22nd of July on board India's heaviest GSLV Mark III launcher from Satish Dhawan Space Center at Sri Harikota. The launcher has successfully placed Chandrayaan-2 into, into an elliptical transfer orbit around the Earth. Subsequently, Chandrayaan-T composite module raised its orbit around the Earth by using its rocket propulsion system in preparation to move from the Earth-bound phase to the lunar transfer phase. Now, if you look at the overall sequence that has happened since the Chandrayaan-2 was inserted into the orbit, the Chandrayaan-2 spacecraft was eventually captured into an orbit around the moon, and later it performed almost four lunar-bound maneuvers and lowered its orbit to almost 100 kilometers around the Earth. You may be aware, on 2nd of September, which was uh, five days ago from where we are today, the orbiter and the lander module were separated from each other. And the very next day, after the orbiter and lander module got separated, and the lander Vikram module performed two, two, two D-boost operations just to move the orbit from an orbit of 100 by 100 kilometers to an orbit of 30 kilometers by 100 kilometers around the moon. So as on date, where we are, where we are almost uh, 26 minutes away from the launch, and the orbiter module is rotating at an orbit of around 100 kilometers around the moon, and we have the Vikram lander module, which is moving in an orbit of 30 kilometers by 100 kilometers. And since the launch of Chandrayaan-2 on 22nd July, today is the 40th day when landing is expected to take place. So right now, we are around 26 minutes away from the start of the most important and crucial powered descent operations. And uh, once this powered descent maneuver is initiated, it's ex expected to take roughly around 15 minutes for the lander Vikram to make a soft landing on the surface of the moon. Namaste, Suprabhat, or Anewala Din, Shubho Isi Sandesh Kasat, May Alok Shivasto, Apne Varist Vaganik Sati, Shri Radha Kishan Ji Kasat, Ap Sabhi Desh Videsh Kedarsko Ka Hardik Abhidandan Kartahu, Hamisame, Isroke, Isro Telemetry Tracking and Command Network, Istrak Ke, Mission Complex, Se Is Bahu Churchit Chanka, आंखों देखा हाल प्रस्तुत कर रहे हैं उपलब्धियों के भारतीय आकाश का एक और दैदीप विमान सितारा चंद्रयान 2 के रूप में परिणति के शिखर पर पहुंच चुका है जिसमें चंद्रयान 2 के लैंडर विक्रम और उसके अंदर संयोजित रोवर प्रज्ञान चंद्रमा के दक्षिणी ध्रुव पर दो क्रैटरों मैजनी सी और सिंपेलिस एन के बीच मुख्य संभावित अवतरण क्षेत्र SLS Chauan PLS 1 Jo Satar the Samblo No Shuni Doche Sat South Akshans Ya Latitude or Bais the Samblo Sat Eight Sat Art Ek Ek East Puru De Shantar Ya Longitude Ke Beach Utarkar Aj Bharat Kentrik Chitihas Make Naya Dhya Jorega Apki Jankari Kelia Batadu Ki Is Akshans और देशांतर पर उतरने के लिए लगभग 84 मिनट पहले ही पूर्व निर्धारित देशांकों निर्देशांकों 70.8992 साउथ अक्षांश और 22.7811 पूर्वांतर देशांतर को लैंडर के कंप्यूटर को भेज दिया गया है किन्हीं तकनीकी कारणों के चलते अगर यह संभव न हो सका तो इसरो ने इसके लिए दूसरा विकल्प भी तैयार रखा है जो ALS 0, ALS 1, जो 67.749153 साउथ अक्षांश और 18.46947 वेस्ट देशांतर लॉन्जिट्यूट का चयन कर लिया गया है। आज के दिन तक पहुंचने से पहले चंद्रयान दो की 
अड़तालीस दिनों की ये लंबी सुनियोजित यात्रा चुनौतियों कल्पनाओं और यथार्थ की गणनाओं गणनाओं से भरी हुई थी और आज ये यात्रा आज अपने अंतिम पड़ाव पर आ पहुंची है इस संपूर्ण यात्रा का वृत्तांत अगर सार संक्षेप में कहें तो केवल इतना कि एक तरफ चुनौतियों की कमी नहीं थी तो दूसरी तरफ चंद्रयान दो के सृजनकर्ताओं के आत्मविश्वास और तकनीकी नेतृत्व में भी कभी कोई कमी नहीं आई तभी आज भारतीय वैज्ञानिकों और उनका ये अभियान हर कस कसौटियों पर खरा उतरा है For not going empty handed last minute blink it India's last minute app Ye hai Mr DIY Khud invest karne ka rakhte hain shauk aur rakhta hai jab wo shesh vishv ki takniki aur vigyan ke unnat raah par kadam se kadam milakar chalne ko tatpar ho aur taiyar ho garv aur utsah aatmishwas aur pragati pat par agrasar hone ki chaah जैसी भावनाओं का मिला जुला प्रवाह आज चंद्रयान दो के साथ हर भारतीय के दिल में जागृत है इस समय आप मिशन कॉम्प्लेक्स के अंदर का ये विहंगम दृश्य देख रहे हैं बड़ी बेसब्री से हर भारतीय वैज्ञानिक आंकड़ों पर गहन नज़र बनाए हुए हैं हर आंकड़े अपने आप में एक पूरी कहानी बयान करते हैं Uh, after 22 minutes you will be witnessing the descent power descent of the vikram lander module as i just mentioned the vikram lander module is presently orbiting in an orbit of uh, 30 kilometers perilune which is the the lowest altitude from the surface of the moon and the apolune which is the the highest point of the orbit from the surface of moon is around 100 kilometers and uh, once the, the descent operation starts we expect to take uh, roughly around uh, 15 minutes and some of the important events uh, during the descent phase uh, which will be covering in the subsequent point as we go closer to this particular activity but before we do that just to get a, a update on the orbiter module uh, which has been orbiting in an orbit of around 100 kilometers as you are all aware the total mass of uh, orbiter module is 2369 kilograms at at launch we had the composite module of uh, orbiter and the vikram lander which was uh, 3850 so the orbiter module now that it has got separated from the vikram lander has a mass of almost uh, 2370 kilograms and out of this total mass the the mass the orbiter uh, the fuel the orbiter carried was almost uh, 1683 kilograms so eventually if you look at the the capability of the orbiter almost 70% of its mass is the fuel and uh, the primary reason for requirement of such a large quantity of fuel is uh, basically to raise